trucks and gasoline and set on fire, sharing his story of survival. His parents want to know how anyone can do something so awful. Fox News' Jeff Bernthal is here now with the questions his family won't answer. Jeff. A terrible crime and the suspect only 16. Now a family focused on helping their young burn victim recover hopes they can someday understand why he suffered so much. Walter Curry Jr. is only 15, soon to be a high school sophomore. Police in Poplar Bluff say it was along this road when one of his classmates sprayed gasoline from a squirt bottle on Curry, then lit him on fire, leaving marks over most of his upper body. Stomach area, chest, shoulders, neck, and underneath my arms. Curry was too weak to tell us much more, although he did describe what his attacker told him. I got gasoline and a lighter. And how he tried to extinguish the flames that burned his own skin. Like I ran. And then I jumped over a car and went like star roll and got it off my skin. And it was still on my clothes. So I dropped my clothes. I'm angry. Who did it? Why? The boy's father wants answers. Police arrested a 16-year-old they say had a beef with Curry. Curry admits he knew his attacker but did not think there was any bad blood, certainly not enough to require intense medical care. I was in disbelief. I just hit the ground. Couldn't believe it. Curry's mother has stayed at St. John's Mercy Medical Center by her son's side ever since the attack. My heart just broke because I couldn't believe nobody in this day and time would do something like that. You know, what was going through a person's mind to be so cruel. Curry is faced with a long and difficult road to recovery. It could take years. For now, it's one day at a time. Because this suspect is a juvenile, police are not releasing too many details, and that's another source of the Curry family's frustration. They want to know more about why this happened. Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.